Hi everyone, this is Vegas and I'm going to do two penny play ideas for the week. So let's get started. We're going to be focused this week on a silver theme because I'm noticing a lot of money flow going into SLV. However, that one there is over $15. So we're not going to focus on that one in particular. We're actually going to talk about two other silver stocks. And I want to give a big shout out to one of my students, Raybo, uh, from Florida. He is so good. He actually gave me these two penny plays because we were looking at some charts and uh, I said, Raybo, these are fantastic. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys about these two silver plays. So let's start. Okay, so we're going to talk about the first ticker. As I mentioned, the symbol is ASM. And this is called Avino Silver and Gold Mine. I actually really like the fact that it has silver and gold because gold has been a really hot commodity as well. If you guys do the large caps, I mean, you would look at GLD. But in this case, we're going to look at ASM. Um, this company is located in Vancouver, Canada. And you could see here that they actually had some news recently and they did a little update on their financials let's take a quick look you can see here that they did release on may the 6th david wolfen president said they had a very strong uh first quarter that included a 10 percent increase in silver and a six percent increase in mine operating income compared to the last quarter of 2019 they did talk about the transition to full production from the avino mine which is keeping their schedule mine plan. And um, they also did mention here that uh, they had revenues here of 7.1, which is up 6% from last quarter from a year ago. They also did mention that their mine operating income is up as well. They also had their consolidated cash costs, working capital of 10.8 million and 6.7 million of consisting of cash. So you know what? This company has money as well. So if you want to go through the financial statements, you can go through all the details here. I'm not going to go through that with you today. Um, so what we really care about here is what is the stock doing? So let's take a look at this actual chart. Okay, so here's the actual chart here. This is actually the daily and then we're going to go through the weekly, but you could actually see if you look at the green bars. I love looking at the volume and the volume bars. You could see that we definitely had a really nice, we I like to call an expansion breakout because look how this candle just shot up. You could see here that the low of the day earlier was at 41 cents and it went all the way up to 52.5 and closed at 52.2. So what I'm really liking here is that we can see here on the MACD, we have a bullish line cross. You can see that they're crossing together, one on top of the other. And the other thing as well, is that we have support at the 200 day moving average like i've mentioned before in some videos you know some people only trade stocks that are over the 200 day or have just crossed this 200 day level so there is definitely interest from those 200 day level traders and this is a very nice chart i actually do like this uptrend and it is definitely setting up for an expansion break um, so I've mentioned that the silver sector is really hot. I have been seeing a lot of money flow into that sector. So this to me would be a stock that I would swing trade. And um, I currently do not have a position in the stocks. So I will be looking at this tomorrow. And so I just kind of want to give you guys just a couple price targets so that if you do consider swing trading the stock, you have some ideas of where you're probably looking to exit the trade. So here we're now looking at the weekly chart kind of gives you a bit of a different picture. You see the stocks had a bit of a downtrend. Now we're kind of seeing this uptrend here. So like I said, we do have support here at the 200 day level. We are going to have a pivot point here at 61 cents. 
we're going to have some resistance at 83. So if you were to look to swing trade the stock, you may want to start scaling out around the 83 cent level or maybe around 80 cents. A lot of people like round numbers when they're trading. So you could sell at 80 cents a portion of your shares. Um, you know, trade your plan. I'm just giving you some exit points that you may want to note. And then we also have some resistance at 103. And if that breaks, that could be another selling point here at a dollar or at 103 or 102 or 101, whatever you're looking to sell it at. And then if it breaks 113, I mean, we could probably see a dollar 40. So there is a lot of room here on this stock and silver has been a really hot commodity. So I am not in this trade as I mentioned. I will be looking to take a swing trade position tomorrow. That doesn't mean it's going to open tomorrow at the same price. Um, I have no idea what this will open at tomorrow. But it's a really nice penny play and I'll definitely be looking at it closer tomorrow and looking to take a swing trade and looking to scale out around the 80 cent mark and again around a dollar and then if it breaks this 113 we'll look to scale out around 125, 130 and then if it breaks 140 I guess I'll reassess the chart once again. So that is going to be this ticker ASM, Avino Silver and Gold Mine. And then the last pick for tonight we're going to review right now is one called F, S like Sam, M like Mary. Okay, so the last one for tonight for the penny play picks is this one here I mentioned, FSM, Fortuna Silver Mines, Inc. This is also another Canadian company and um, this is located in Vancouver. So let's take a quick look because I always like to look, um, first of all, not just at the weekly charts, but before I look and can take a trade, I always like to find out if this company has news, what's their financials like, uh, just to take a quick look to just see what's going on. So we could see here that on May 14, on Thursday, ooh, gold and silver, these look like iPhones. Um, so you could see here that, uh, Canadian company in Vancouver, they did report a net loss and an adjusted net loss. However, here's what I want to point out. Okay. So George Ganoza, who's the president, uh, he did mention, and this is really important that the results for the quarter were marked by the lower production at the San Jose mine and also um, unusually high income tax provisions related to the devaluation of the Mexican peso. So he did mention that this did reflect an adjusted net loss of 2.2 million, but here's the key word, okay? So we do have, however, free cash flow from ongoing operations remained strong at 14.2 million dollars so the fact is that this company has cash and the other thing too is that he's mentioned they've developed plans and are prepared to operate in the new COVID-19 business environment which includes aggressive OPEX and CAPEX reductions of 23 million for 2020 and um Obviously, they highlighted here some some uh, first quarter highlights, sales, you know, they mentioned the numbers here, the cash flow and their gold, silver and gold production. If you want to read more about it and read about their COVID-19 plan and go through the financials, I mean, just go to the website and um, the website's called fortunasilver.com. Just go to investors and you can read all the details. But let's actually go through this chart now because I want to actually show you guys why I like this as well for a swing trade. And the fact is, remember, silver and gold are hot commodities right now. So I'm taking you guys right now straight to the weekly chart. We're not going to bother going to the daily because you know what? That's basically over and done with. And I really like to focus on the weekly chart. Look at this beautiful, beautiful trend. I mean, this is a golden trade, okay? Whenever you see an uptrend like this, look at this, like nonstop. This is definitely above the Bollinger Bands. You could see that it's gapped up and that's, you know, earnings is out of the way and they have cash. And we could also see the expansion breakout and we also see a pocket pivot. I love pocket pivots on charts because the pocket pivots to me signify the footprint for a potential move and continuation on the stock. 
So you could see here that it went as high as $3.99. It actually, I wish it would have broken $4, but it didn't break. So that's actually the resistance right now, this $3.99. It did close at $3.96. So what you'd like to do, I mean, obviously, if you're going to trade the stock, um, this could gap up tomorrow morning and break $4. If it does, it's going to see 425. If it gets to 457, which is the beautiful 200 day spot I've talked about, you will see buyers stepping in here at 457. So those traders are watching for this print and for the print to break. And then we have resistance at 495. I believe that once it gets here, it will break. And we could very easily see 550 and 587, maybe even $6. So keep a watch on this stock for a potential swing trade idea. If you can actually take a swing trade entry for lower than this um, 396, that would be a great opportunity for you. I mean, the pivot point here at 367, but this is a very bullish chart. And uh, it definitely looks like it's definitely going to have a continuation. And like I've said, silver is hot and so is gold. And so traders are trading these stocks. So those are your two penny plays for the week. I hope you guys have a great trading week. Like I said, I hope you guys have a good trading week. Please like, follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on Twitter at I Love Stocks One. We also have a Pinterest, and I'm also on StockTwits at Vegas One. Jim also is on StockTwits at Washboard Jim. So please comment below and good luck with your trades. Again, these are swing trades. They could be very good day trades as well. But again, um, I'm looking for some swing trades because the chart is just super bullish and the commodity is doing really well. Have a great night, everyone. See you again soon. Bye for now.